Hey what's up everyone, Joel here. Today, I'm going to share with you how to use for loop in Excel VBA to generate reports based on different parameters, one at a time. Let us get started. In this demo, I'm going to generate a customer list based on a list of countries that I have, one at a time. First, let me start recording the SAP script that we will be using. I will not be getting into the details since we have discussed this in my previous video. The only difference is that we need to identify the point which we need to input our parameters. In my previous video, I stopped the script recording once I managed to extract the report in a spreadsheet. However, in this case, since we were to repeat the extraction process for different countries, I will need to record the script up to the point where I can input a new parameter again. I will use the back button to return to the form page and this will form part of my script later on. Now that we have stopped our recording at our desired page, navigate to the directory where the script is recorded. Open it in a notepad. Here, I notice I have accidentally added two unnecessary steps at the end of the script. I'll just remove it before copying. Then I'll head over to the VBA editor and paste that into my SAP script template. For us to have a better understanding on what is happening step by step, let me put a comment on each of the lines quickly. Alright, now what we have to do is identify which are the steps that we are going to loop through multiple times. Separate the lines by adding one indentation and we will build our loop later on. Let me declare the variables that I will be using for the script. First, I will determine the last row of the worksheet where we input our list of countries. When I run through this line of code, you can see that the value of last row would be 4, which is what we expected as the last cell that was filled is in cell A4. Now that we have the value of the last row, we can start building our loop. This is how a loop in VBA will look like. For i equals to a starting value to an ending value, perform the following and then next i. For our case, I will initialize the value i as 2, since the first country that we will be putting into the loop is in cell A2. The ending value will be the last row. Depending on how long is the list, we will increase the number of time we will run the steps within the loop. For our specific case, since we have three countries in the list, the steps in the loop will be ran three times. Before running the SAP script, I will assign the country code to the country variable based on the value i. With every run of the loop, the i value will increase by 1. Then. Let me substitute the fixed value that was recorded in the script with the country variable for both the input form and naming of the exported spreadsheet. By the end, type in next i at the end of the loop. Now, let me pull in the variables into the watch window and see how this script works step by step. Since I want to provide you guys with a side by side view, I will remove the maximize SAP window line. One more thing before we complete the whole script. We can input the file directory of the exported spreadsheet into the Excel sheet for our future reference. You can choose to ignore this step if you feel that it is unnecessary. Now, if I start debugging the script, you will see that during the first run, the country variable is US and the value of I is 2. The country US will be passed into SAP to run the query and generate the export. During the second run, i has the value of 3, while the country variable will change to gb and it is passed into SAP to run the query. Now we know everything is working, we complete the script by saving the workbook. One thing I notice is that SAP keeps opening the exported spreadsheet at the end of the script. I am not able to find any option to close it automatically within the script itself. A few of you have reached out to me asking if there is any workaround. 
I found out that this can be done if I choose to quit the Excel application entirely at the end. To do that, simply just add in the two lines to quit the application and set the workbook save property as true to avoid triggering the prompt to save. Let me run the whole script once to make sure that it is working. After the script ran, Excel quits itself. If I reopen the workbook, you can see that the exported file location has been updated. And if I go to the folder directory, all three files would have been exported. If you are interested to learn more about developing script in Excel VBA, be sure to check out both of the videos here. My name is Joel, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.